Ryan Law. Is he a genius or is he just fortunate? That is the topic of today's video and that is what we will be discussing. Before we go any further, however, it would be greatly appreciated if you could, of course, hit the subscribe button. We are progressing very fast on this channel. I appreciate it very much. Um, we're going to keep this momentum going just like our Preston are keeping their momentum going in the championship season. And also, if you could go in the description and give us a follow on Twitter, we have a great community going on there where we engage in conversation about Preston North End every day. You get to decide on video titles. We discuss about goals, players, kits, all that lovely stuff. It's just nice to have a little community going, I think, and I believe it's a nice place to be. Anyways, Ryan Law, genius or fortunate? Well, let's look at the, uh, the option, shall we? So, of course, before coming to Preston North End, Ryan Law did have some experience elsewhere as a manager. As a matter of fact, he had experience first at Bury, or Bury, however you want to say it. I say Bury because I'm from Preston, of course. We can't speak English. Now, when he was at this team, of course, Law essentially joined the team when it was pretty much at its lowest of the season. Bury had just been relegated and he was appointed to basically sort out the mess of the previous season to prepare for the 2018-2019 season in League 2. And he was very busy in the transfer market, with 11 players being transferred out or released and another 11 being transferred in. And get this, they were all on free transfers. He said that the players who did not fulfill their potential had to go and be replaced by players with some passion who could get bums off seats at Gig Lane. And even though the season start was pretty shaky, Berry reached fourth place in the table when they travelled to promotion rivals Manfield Town on Boxing Day, which they lost that match and dropped to 6th place, but then began an unbeaten run which firmly established them in the top three. In addition, Law led them to the semi-final stage of the EFL Trophy, which was their best ever showing in this tournament, before they were defeated by League One Portsmouth. In recognition of his success in turning the team around, Law was three times awarded EFL League Two Manager of the Month award, once in November, then again in January and again in February of 2018 and 2019 respectively. It was all around a very successful career he had at this team. And of course, he went on to you know, be a, a legend within the club. Not only was he a great player for the club, but to then be appointed as the manager just as his playing days came to an end and then turned the club around and gets them back on the right track. It was of course the absolute perfect thing to do for a team of very stature of course they're not a massive club but for what he could do for them then and there all the way back in 2018 yeah it was pretty damn good now of course this was down to a few reasons of course he knew the club and he knew the players that were already there he played alongside them literally not that long ago so it was going to be obvious who you're getting rid of and who you're keeping but everyone he brought in were on a free transfer and if we want to be uh, if we want to be ideally accurate when it comes to our transfer information a majority of players that Law brought in through the summer of 2022 at Preston North End were free transfers. Of course, we have players Robbie Brady, Ben Woodburn, and then the other ones were and the ones on loan, Alvaro Fernandez, Troy Parrott. We're not going to count them because they weren't exactly a free transfer. But we also got Di Connell, and we won't discuss the fee for Freddie Woodman. However, some of the players he brought in, of course, free agents, and they are some of our best players. Ryan Law knows he doesn't exactly have huge budgets because he's not managing a Premier League side. So he has to make the most of what he can do with his budget and that might mean get used to free transfers, make the most of free agents and that he most certainly can do. On the 5th of June in 2019, Law was announced as the manager of Plymouth Argyle, guiding them to third place with an immediate return to League One in a season interrupted by the Covid-19 pandemic. After guiding his side to four wins and two draws from six matches during a 17-game unbeaten run in the league, in a month that saw Plymouth climb to the summit of the League One table, Law was named the EFL League One Manager of the Month for October of 21. On the 7th of December 2021, Law resigned as Plymouth manager with the club fourth in the league. Now, of course, this has nothing to do with Ryan Law, well, it might do, but the club finished in seventh place that season, so narrowly avoided the playoffs by three points. However, this season they are at the top of the league currently, but that is unrelated to the point because Ryan Law did not take them to the top of the league. But all things considered, he did really well with Plymouth. He got them in. A, he got them a promotion as soon as he essentially joined. You know, of course, third place. And then as he was doing at Plymouth really well, he managed to get his team to a playoff position. 
and he went on a massive unbeaten run. And this is something they have in common between Plymouth and Bury as his career. Not only did he go on to win manager of the month while he was at said clubs, but he also managed to get them into playoff positions, go on unbeaten runs, become a force essentially. And even though this might not have happened as soon as he joined the club, it still happened eventually. He turned, uh, he started Bury with a shaky start and eventually turned it into something magical. He guided Plymouth to third place with an immediate return to League One and continued to see them climb the League One table while he was the manager. So when it came to the 7th of December 2021, Law was appointed as Preston North End manager. Now the question is, where does that leave Preston North End in the equation of Ryan Law's management? Does that mean he's going to take us to great places like he took the other two clubs? That's where we need to discuss whether or not he's a genius or if he's just fortunate and that's why we are making this video today. There must be some genius behind the Scouse voice simply because of the great things he's done with the clubs already. Let's not forget, most managers were players in the past and Ryan Law was a player in the past of course for one of the clubs that he did manage, but that doesn't mean exactly he's already got a handicap to begin with, because even though you are the manager of Berry, a club you've recently played for, does not mean you're in an advantageous position instantly. Managing is completely different to being a player, as long as you know the right lads out there, and you have a style of play you want to adapt those boys into, you can do anything you want with a club. For example, I don't like to look at Premier League sides because I'm not a massive fan of the PL, but let's take a look at Liverpool for a moment. Before Jurgen Klopp came in, they wasn't exactly in any magical position. Before Jurgen Klopp, they hadn't never won a league title. Before Jurgen Klopp, they hadn't won many trophies before, of course, the, the renaissance or the revival of the club. Jurgen Klopp was given the freedom of Liverpool simply because of all the great work he did for the club. He revived that club, essentially. That's what we're trying to get at. Even though Jurgen Klopp had massive budgets and a great managerial background already, that's nothing to point the finger at and say, well, he's got this and he's got that. Because Ryan Lowe doesn't have this and he doesn't have that. But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is anybody can come into a club and turn it around provided you have the right ideas. Ryan Lowe's play style compared to Frankie McAvoy, let's think about that for a moment. McAvoy wasn't exactly an uh, intelligent manager, he wasn't one with m magical intention and he wasn't one who seemed to know what he was doing. He just, he was just kind of here and that's why we never went anywhere with Frankie McAvoy. So when the opportunity came to get Ryan Law through the doors, we did so instantly. The Blackburn game was a wake-up call essentially and of course Ryan Law's managerial style has been influenced by that of Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola, Rafa Benitez and Law's long-time friend Steven Gerrard. And Steven Gerrard being a friend of his doesn't exactly mean he's going to copy his managerial style because, let's be honest, Ryan Law's managerial career has been far more successful long term than Steven Gerrard. Of course, Steven Gerrard took big clubs like Rangers to good places, but if we look at everything else he's done for other clubs, Aston Villa, it didn't exactly go brilliantly, did it? Of course, Ryan Law's play style is very gung-ho if you want to describe it like that. He likes attacking football, but as we've established as Preston fans, he's not afraid to play backward and he's not afraid to get that defence as the heart of the team, which is what he's done for Preston. And it's utter genius. And I'm going to say it now, it is genius what he's doing with Preston North End. Of course, false expectations were set at the start of the season and when we came off the start that we had to the season, we're all thinking, is this guy really going to take us to the Premier League? Fast forward a few months, now in November, we're sitting in the playoffs as of this video. Of course, that could change by the weekend, but we're in the playoffs position for the first time in so, so long. And we're actually looking sturdy in this position, not just got there for coincidence, that we look sturdy because not only is the defence very good and we're conceding very few goals, we're, of course, scoring few goals as a result of the massive focus on the defence. But now we're scoring more goals simply because the forward player is starting to understand what they have to do. Let's not forget, before Ryan Law had his system fully in place at, at the start of this season, he had to adapt to what he had last season. It's going to be a completely different style of play. So the boys need to sort of adapt to what they need to get used to now, which is Ryan Law's gung-ho play style. And it's evident to me that this is starting to work. The boys up front are finally understanding what Ryan Law wants. And I firmly believe in due time that Preston North End can become one of the best teams in the championship simply because of the manager. It's not always the players that have to do everything. The manager has an influence on these players. And Ryan Law's influence on the players is evident. Just compare us today to what we was like this time last year or this time the year before. It's day and night. 
Ryan Lord does have a speck of genius to him. However, we can't deny that he hasn't been fortunate to some degree because he came into the club last season and we finished 11 points from the playoffs with what he had. And while what he had then was less advantageous to what he has now, it's still not exactly a brilliant way to go about thinking about things because he definitely got carried away and he said so himself. But how fortunate has he been this season? Well, of course, coming into the club, he's done really well, all things considered. But having only had a few players coming through the transfer and we're getting rid of a few, we don't exactly have a lot of squad depth. We don't have many options available to us. We don't have the finance to fund many more options either. It's always going to be a scramble to get players through the door. And Ryan knows this and he said he's not going to complain, he's going to make do. If we can get any more players through the door, we're not going to adapt around one player. We're going to have that player adapt to the rest of the players. That's how it works, and, uh, you know, because otherwise you're just making a complete step back in order to make a step forward, which by then it'd be too late to make the step forward. So the fortune in Ryan Law has essentially come from what he's been able to do with what he's got. Of course, he had to experiment a little bit. The system didn't work as soon as he came through the door. The system didn't work as soon as the season started. Everything had to get, you know, up and running. It was that point we was floating around the mid table, sometimes dropping below. It, we didn't exactly look like we was doing brilliantly, but four wins in five now is pretty damn good considering everything that happened at the start of the season and whatnot in between. So. Yeah, I do think Law's been a little bit fortunate in what he's been doing. However, I'm not going to deny the genius behind the mask. Or I should say behind the Scouts' voice. Because, let's be honest, what other manager, apart from top-tier managers, can do what Ryan has done for every club he's ever managed? He's been given very little resources and turned those little resources into big successes. And I very much believe he can do the same thing for Preston, provided we all keep a level head and we can understand what Ryan is trying to do. The more pressure we mount on him based on results that might not look fortunate will only de decrease motivation of the manager and the players and will take us off track. We need to concentrate on what Ryan is doing and not anything else because if we can back the manager enough, Ryan Law can definitely get us promoted. I, can, I fully believe that simply because of all the evidence we've been shown so far. It's true. Ryan Law is a genius maybe he's not a tactical masterclass of a manager yet but you can't deny this man definitely knows what he's doing and provided we give him what he needs Preston North End will see a very bright future